One thing we're watching this week is Nordstrom's earnings call. Nordstrom's a high-end retailer that seems to be really bridging the gap between your old school brick and mortar stores and today's movement towards online sales. And when it comes to retailers, we favor the companies like Nordstrom that actually have pricing power over the discount retailers like Macy's and JCPenney who are competing strictly on price. Nordstrom seems to have a great business strategy for moving into the future. They have their high-end Nordstrom stores, their discount Nordstrom rack stores, and 14% and 25% online sales growth at each of those respectively over the last year. Unlike other retailers, Nordstrom has done an awesome job in the digital space by offering free shipping and free returns. Even Amazon doesn't offer free returns all the time. Now Nordstrom Local is their new concept store that they recently opened in October of last year in West Hollywood. And it's actually the first Nordstrom store with zero inventory. Instead, it's being run more like a Starbucks style store with experience being the driving force. This store is 3,000 square feet compared to their normal stores of 140,000 square feet. With regards to the possibility of the company going private, the family feels that they believe that they could better manage the company's operational restructuring and transition to e-commerce away from the public markets. And it appears that they might be closing in on a deal, which we feel would be positive for the stock price. For those of you investors who are watching who think you might want to get into Nordstrom, I suggest that you strongly consider it prior to them releasing their earnings report on Thursday after the bell. For Trading Nation, Mark Tepper, Strategic Wealth Partners. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.